Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is George Perham, and I'm chair of the um, RDA as well as chair of the subcommittee for the center school project um, that we're here to meet about tonight. And before we get started, I'd like everybody to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. So tonight's meeting um, has been organized as a um, meeting open to the public um, without public participation necessarily, but for public knowledge. And for those of you, um, this is also going to be, I understand, televised for um, future reference if people need to go and um, see what the uh, result of tonight's meeting is. Um, I did want to start out by just saying and introducing ourselves. Um, my name again is George Perham, and I'm uh, chair of the RDA. And I was asked to also be chair of the subcommittee um, due to my expertise in architecture and, and planning and um, development of sites and also because of my knowledge in the, of the site over the last five years, which is uh, seven years, excuse me, which seems like a, a, a lifetime. Um, with me also to my left is Jimmy Melward, who's also a licensed architect, and he's our town's chairman of the Architecture Review Board. Um, Ryan Ehrenhaus, who's the chairman of the town's Historic District Commission. Um, Sismita Etoda, um, who is our town planner, as we all know. Um, Patrick Carlton, who is the deputy director of Metrocog, who has been the town's go-to consultant for many, many projects, as you may or may not know. And then, of course, last but not least, Mary Dean, who is our um, director of economic development. So um, what we've done so far, just to recap very shortly, I won't go through the dissertation that I did at the town council, but at the last town council meeting, both of the finalists, um, Romano, um, uh, brothers, as well as Spirit Investors, Kalinagi Properties, um, did a presentation to the town council. And that presentation was also received by this subcommittee. And um, from there, we went into, um, um, I'll say, independent session, if you will, and we created a developer evaluation sheet. That evaluation sheet was uh, comprised of um, five um, categories, relative experience, which, uh, and what we did is we gave the, the category a level, um, um, a, a percentage for a weight, if you will. So things that we thought were most important to a little less important. So relative experience counts for 30% of the total. And what we uh, mean by that is properties that the, the presenting teams um, that either designed, financed, constructed, and managed all and or some of that. Design counts for 25% of the total. Um, and what we mean by design, that's, that's very holistic, if you all um, can imagine. It's not only the aesthetics of the property and the design of the buildings, it's all of the site planning that went into it and as well as the circulation, both pedestrian-wise and vehicular-wise. <clears throat> Financials counts for about 20, for, not for about, excuse me, for 20% of the total. Um, the likelihood of coming um, in or out below budget um, along with the land purchase, because the land purchase, there was a little bit of a difference in cost. Um, the team, which counts for 10% of the total, um, it was basically the quality of presentation and the strength of the partnership that the committee felt um, necessary. And then last but not least is our references, which counts for about, <coughs> excuse me, 15% of the total. Um, as I mentioned, each one of the committee members here in front of you tonight um, had a vote, an independent vote, uh, Mary, except for Mary Dean, excuse me. Um, and Karen and Mary Dean took all the scores, they added them together, and then um, we came up with a total score and along with a weighted average. And um, I must say that the, um, the result was, was very, very close. So what I thought it might be worthwhile is to just go um, to each one of the categories and give the result. So this result is a compilation of all of the, um, uh, all the votes that came in um, to the committee, from, to uh, Mary Dean and Karen. So on relative experience, Romano Brothers scored a 36, gave it a weighted average of 10.8. Kalinagi had a score of 44, which gave it a weighted average of 13.2. On the design, uh, Romano Brothers came at 36 with a weighted average of nine. Kalinagi had a 44.5% 
44.5, excuse me, um, for a weighted average of 11.125. On financials, Romano Brothers came in at 38 with a weighted average of 7.6, and Kalanagi came in at 41 with a weighted average of 8.2. The team, uh, Romano Brothers came in at 42 with a weighted average of 4.2. Kalanagi was 44 with a weighted average of 4.4. And then references, uh, Romano Brothers came at 42, weighted average of 4.2. Kalanagi, 44.5, with a weighted average of 6.675. So that totals to a... Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Reference was uh, 36 for Romano Brothers for 5.5, 5.4. And references for Kalanag is 44.5, 6.675. Excuse me, I stand corrected. Thank you. Um, that gave a total uh, Romano Brothers score of 188 with a weighted average of 37. And with Kalanagi, a score of 218 with a weighted average of 43.6. So based on pure calculation, um, this committee would be recommending um, Kalanagi to the town council. But before we did that, I'd like to open up a discussion to our committee to see if there are any comments that anybody may have um, in addition to what we've talked about. Um, starting with you, Jamie. Uh, I really have no comment, George. I, and I think the committee did a, we did a thorough, great job of evaluating both the proposals, which both were excellent. And, and I feel very comfortable with the decision we all collectively came to. and. Uh, and the process we took to, to get to that point. And so I, I, I think we're pretty unanimous in, in how we feel. That's all I have to add. Sismita. Um, I have no comments. I just want to reiterate what Jamie said. Uh, this was a good problem to have for the town that both are such solid proposals and both are competitive teams. And so um, I, I think the process was very well followed and I liked visiting the sites myself. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Patrick? Uh, yes, I don't have uh, much further comment either. Um, I'll echo those, uh, uh, those sentiments. Um, I think both proposals were, were great. Um, I think you can take a look at the scores and see how close they were. Um, but I think, uh, you know, collectively we came to our decision. I know it was a long process. Um, and uh, one that uh, I think, um, you know, ultimately uh, came to a really good decision uh, with who we're selecting. Um, and um, just wanted to say thank you to all for all your hard work. Um, I know it was a long process and glad to see us moving forward. Thank you, Patrick. Ryan? Uh, I will all echo my, my colleagues' sentiments. It was a very, uh, a very well designed process. I appreciate Mary, your stewardship through, through all this as well. And, uh, and George, obviously your, your leadership. And you know, it was not easy. We had two very, uh, very strong proposals before us. And uh, I think we're, as a town, lucky to have this kind of quality coming to Stratford. So thank you. Mary Dean, like to say anything? I would just like to say thank you to all of you for um, your hard work. And thank you to both developers who did an outstanding job. And I, I would just like to add um, my sentiment to the developers as well. Um, as an architect, we go through this process many times and we're not always um, happy with the decision. But um, at the end of the day, I do think that the process really um, reamed itself out um, very um, truly. I think, and I want to thank the developers, both of you, um, for doing a wonderful job and all the time and the effort and I know money at the end of the day that you all spent. Um, to come to the town of Stratford. This is an important project to us, and I think both developers took it very, very seriously, and it showed in your proposals. I think both proposals had a high quality, and we'd be um, um, uh, you know, remiss to say that we didn't appreciate everything that you folks have done to this point in time. Um, again, uh, the recommendation to the city council will be happening probably not next month, but um, most likely April or sometime thereafter. From this meeting, um, Mary and I will be getting this on the agenda for the town council. Um, and as soon as they put that on the town council, uh, we'll make our recommendation with them to um, make the final decision. Um, 
So once again, I want, and I want to thank this committee because I think the committee did an outstanding job. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do now after seven years of dealing with this project. I'm, you know, I don't know what to do anymore. So um, again, I want to thank everybody and thank both developers for all your time and effort. And um, we'll move forward. Thank you. Do I uh, have any further comments or um, questions or anything from anybody on the committee? Seeing there is none, do I have a motion uh, to adjourn? Second. Motion Second by, by Jamie, seconded by Ryan. All in favor? Aye. aye. Chair votes aye. Carries unanimously. Thank you once again. Have a good evening. Fastest meeting I've ever done.